Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Moss Acura in North Tampa because guess what? We have the 2020 Acura RDX. This one has that very nice handling SH all-wheel drive system. So let's talk a little bit about Acura. Acura has been around since 1986. You know, so many great nameplates, the Legend, of course, the NSX, the RSX, the Integra. Acura has gotten into its stride when it comes to their SUVs. There is the larger MDX. This being the RDX is a little bit smaller. Now, one thing that's great about the RDX is that it has received a lot of the new philosophy from Acura, which is this precision performance, not only to the outside, not only underneath the hood, but definitely on the interior of this RDX. But while we go ahead, let me take you around this 2020 RDX and show you, hey, for a smaller SUV, does this really check off all the boxes for sport, for versatility, and for also that fun factor? Right off the bat, I really think that so smart what Acura is doing with its styling, they've cleaned things up a, a lot. They were really showcasing this beak, metal beak on their grill, and they've moved away from that. With this 2020 RDX, it is a little wider, and the wheelbase is a little bit longer than the outgoing RDX um, from the previous generation. But I really like the way that the dual LED light setup fits the front of the vehicle with the LED daytime running lamps. We work our way down. Now, the good news is this isn't functional, but it actually channels the air into the side air curtains. This, not being an A-spec, has some different touches compared to the A-spec that we've already featured on Radius Rise, and I'll put that at the end of this video so that you can see the comparison of the two. With this standard RDX, you get the chrome trim, very tasteful, very simple, very clean. We come across to that front grill. Now, this is what I was tell telling you about. It used to be this like beak shield thing. They got rid of that. You have the massive Acura logo in the center, and then look at how the grill design kind of just flies away from that center um, iconic emblem. I think that that's super smart. It's gloss black. This is a uh, diamond performance grill design. I like the way they brought the chrome from the lower corners onto the center area. And with the black, it really stands out really well. Now, as you come down, you do have flat black and a different design on this lower grill portion, but it is flat black and it's gonna take a beating a little bit better than the, than the gloss black. I don't know if you can notice on camera, but you do have the intercooler behind you. Remember, this has a detuned version of the Type R motor underneath the hood. But from one side to the other, very, very clean, very unique, and really that Acura precision to it. One thing I really love about Acura is, especially on this one, if you notice, you start from the front here, up onto the hood, you have a nice little peak, kind of fouls ever so slightly to the back of the uh, hood near the windshield. And then you have these larger kind of curves on each side, really gives it a nice flow. I, I like the, the design philosophy and I hope that they continue this into all of their vehicles. As we come around the corner, you can see how the headlight housing kind of melds right into the uh, fender. You got the Acura name there. We drop down and then I'm liking the wheel design, especially like I said, with this black RDX. I picked this one on purpose because I really like the style of it, but you have your machined aluminum finish, uh, a light silverish gray, and this is a 19 inch wheel. So they did a really great job. Rotors are ventilated, simple, clean look. I think it really just checks off all the boxes. We go down the side of the vehicle. You can see how they take that LED turn single design with a little bit of chrome in there all the way around the housing. And then for a roof design, you can see I'm six feet tall, and the roof on this RDX is actually at a really great height. Um, if you ever do need to attach anything on top, if you're gonna carry a mountain bike or something like that. So I really think that that's smart. With the fender here, you can see how the body line goes right into the door. And then you have a lower belt line that starts sort of mid door and then rises as it works towards the rear of the vehicle. Dropping down, I think it's so smart the way that they took the chrome from the front, brought it into the side to make a nice cohesive package. And as we keep working our way back, you got color match door handles, the chrome trim just at the top. Very nice how it flares out. Very, very small quarter window. 
and then with this rear fender you can see the body line that is here but while we go ahead let's take a look at the back of the rdx and see if the style matches the front all right guys we had to readjust how we were doing the filming because we were getting a little squeeze plays but we're now at the back really love this they call this the dragon tail effect on the taillight design very clean very crisp led brake lighting which is nice both sides looks great we drop down you get a tasteful rdx badge your sh all-wheel drive and then you have a simple diffuser with this honeycomb finish i guess that's meant to tie in with that lower grill area i'm not digging it i wish they would just leave it flat black smooth so i am zonking that but i am so glad that acura is still using real exhaust both sides nice touch but why don't we go ahead let's pop the hood of this rdx and see what's powering it all right guys we got the hood popped on the rdx nice to just see hood struts hood rises very nice and easily underneath that hood like i said that is the engine out of the type r just detuned two liter inline four turbocharged engine 272 horsepower it's all made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission very slick shifting transmission zero to 60 in about 6.5 seconds this one has the optional sh all-wheel drive to get the traction to the ground it weighs in around 4019 pounds mpgs 21 in the city 27 in the highway you're not going to be able to tow a lot with this vehicle but i don't think that's the purpose of it but you can tow up to 1500 pounds with this rdx underneath the hood it's clean the engine cover is tasteful but why don't we go ahead fire up this acura rdx and see what it sounds like all right guys we're inside the 2020 acura rdx this one like i said has the tech package and it has sh all-wheel drive sh stands for super handling all-wheel drive now i know you're probably saying well joe i'm liking the looks of this one detuned type r engine sounds like it's got plenty of power and the all-wheel drive how much is it this one has an msrp of forty four thousand dollars let's see what you get for the money now to the door panels there is a lot of dark but i'm liking it nice soft leather on the armrest on the back portion of the door i love the stitch work and i love the aluminum trim around the door handle and also on the speaker cover there very nice finish soft material at the top you get to the dash of course you're going to get that same soft material i like the leather with the stitching here that aluminum trim very tasteful i'm telling you for all the bits and pieces inside and out everything makes sense a little bit of gloss black on the ac vents that is that over 10 inch horizontal infotainment system of course you have navigation now it's not a touch screen and i just turn on the windshield wipers work check not a touch screen but you do have a trackpad which i'll show you in a second as we toggle down you do have some gloss black here dual climate control heated seats but not ventilated seats so at a price point of forty-four thousand dollars, i am going to zonk it i would like to see ventilated seats this guy right here it's not the radio knob this is called dynamic mode so we twist it and what it allows us to do is go into different modes snow comfort sport and then sport plus that's going to adjust all the parameters of the engine the transmission and the sh all-wheel drive once you come in here you're like oh my god there's buttons everywhere i promise you it's not as bad as you think you have your push button here for the 10 speed i do like where the gloss black is and the silver trim very very tasteful almost looks aluminum start stop button and then this is what i was telling you about with the trackpad now if you are concerned that this may be like some of the other brands which i won't mention their name but one starts with an l as being cumbersome and annoying no this is actually really easy to use it tracks your finger very nicely you can get to home and as you see it's it's almost like touching the screen you touch exactly where you want the cursor to land it's not an actual trackpad like in some of those other brands so that makes it easy to use another feature that i like about it is that you have a side trackpad as well uh, which is the same thing so you could actually display different things on the right hand of the side right side of the screen like our navigation there or you could go back to the full layout like that so very nicely done and as you can see you have this 
main one and then the smaller one on the side, but it's not a mouse style pad. It's you literally, if you want to touch up in the upper left hand corner, you just touch in the upper left hand corner there and it actually lights up. So very, very smart by Acura. And once you practice, practice makes perfect and it works great. I like the palm rest. Let me drop down and show you what's going on down here. So they got you covered USB and an aux jack and a 12 volt and this nice little cubby storage area to put your phone or your box of Twinkies or cupcakes or whatever else you have. This is one of my favorite parts. Very nice aluminum finish on this sliding cover for the center console. You open it up, you got two cup holders, another place for a phone, or this is a perfect Twinkie holder here. You, sta you stand them up and you can just go one, one by one. Another USB, if you wanna see the key fob, there is your accurate key fob, very similar to the Honda, which makes sense, because this is the premium brand to Honda, so we'll put that back. This rises up, we have another cuppy area. So if you wanna segregate your Twinkies from your cupcakes, you could do that in this car. Pretty soft on the armrest, but I love the stitch work. Very beautiful, and then these seats are very nice. All leather, love the perforated center. All the stitch work looks really clean. I really think for style, comfort, and support, they checked off every single box. I also love in this one, the nice panoramic sunroof. I think it really allows everything to be a little bit more open and airy and a little lighter in here because there are a lot of dark materials, but it doesn't feel heavy. I don't feel like I'm being suffocated in a cave, which is really nice. But why don't you get over the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this Acura RDX. All right, guys, business side of the, of the uh, Acura RDX. You do have two memory settings, and I really, really, I'm digging the trim. It makes it feel so upscale as it should. Even down low on the sill, you're welcome to the Acura logo with a nice aluminum finish. Here is your full electric assist on the seating. Very, very comfortable. And then the steering wheel, I'm telling you, it feels like it's out of an NSX. I like the stitch work. I wish it was contrast stitching, but I still like the stitch work. Great thickness. The horn button is very attractive with the Acura logo. You have these nice thumb controls that allow you to go through all sorts of different information in that center screen. And I'll show you the dash there. You have analog tack, analog speedometer, but they're so tasteful and they look so beautiful. And then the center there, you have this really nice digital display. Look at how I could scroll through all sorts of information, a plethora of information there, clear graphics. You do have paddles for the 10 speed. They are a little on the smaller side and they're kind of like a really cheap plastic feel. So I am going to zonk that, but I do like the finishes. Look how they put the nice aluminum looking finish on the ends of the stocks. That it's just the little touches. And then of course you're going to get the full safety suite of emergency braking, lane keep assist. One of my favorite things about the lane keep assist, it doesn't use the ping pong effect where you bounce as you go down the road. It actually corrects you and straightens you back up. You're not just bouncing back and forth. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna like the RDX. All right guys, back seat time in the RDX. It's quite surprising. You would think with the lower roof that you're gonna be cramped in here, you're not. Now with the longer wheelbase, it allows for much more space back here. I did not really adjust the seats in front of me, so I got plenty of knee room, leg room. You do have uh, simple but functional AC vents with a little bit of that silver trim around them. This is my favorite part. I'm so glad that they put two USBs, not just one, not a 12 volt, two USBs back here. The seats have that plastic, which I know if you are a parent, you love that, so I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm finally gonna let it go. Joe Rady from Ray's Rides. Plastic is okay, because I know I have a lot of parents watching. This though, perfect. Great height, the cup holders exactly the way they should be, and overall, headroom and everything with the panoramic sunroof is wonderful, but why don't we go check out that cargo area and see how much stuff you could stuff into a RDX. All right, guys, time to check out the cargo area on the RDX. We push the button. It's actually a very fast acting, and if you look, we have tons of space back here. So the great news is, is that the floor is not too high in the back area. Would you believe with the seats up, you actually could put eight carry-on luggage pieces back here. With the seats down, you could put 22 separate pieces of carry-on luggage. That'll give you a nice idea how large it is. We lift it up, you got a great storage area. If you need to hide anything from somebody, this is a great place to hide it. Just make sure nobody catches you because that's really when you 
got to, you know, tell the story. Little cubby on the side over here. And then my favorite part of both Acuras and Hondas is you just pull the handle and the seat goes down. Look how nice and flat that is. So smart. I think the one thing that I'm missing back here is a 12 volt. If you take this camping, if you take it to the beach, it would be nice to be able to plug in if you had an air compressor or something like that. You need to blow up the mattress or say the uh, inflatable swim toy for your kids. You're going to have to be using your lungs. But let's get to the best part. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Acura RDX for a spin. As we're leaving Moss Acura, we're in the 2020 RDX with the super handling all wheel drive. I really love the seating position in here. Uh, I actually like this splu the, the uh, split setup of the console where you have all the controls up top and then underneath you have tons of storage space and those uh, 12 volts and USBs like I showed you underneath that uh, portion there. The nice leather is welcoming, the aluminum touches, and I think one of the best parts um, that you're definitely gonna love is that infotainment system. It isn't a touch screen, but using the touchpad, it's really easy to, to navigate through. Like if I want to go ahead and get navigation, there we go, ready to rock and roll. And I like the size, that horizontal screen, not too high, not too low, really, really just right. I have it in Sport Plus mode. So remember, you can use the dynamic mode selector, which is this knob in the center. You think it's the radio control when you first get in the car, but it's not. It changes the parameters of the transmission, the engine, the whole nine yards to really give you a, a more um, invigorating drive as you're going down the road. But on throttle, 10 speed drops down. Really, really smooth. You're not waiting for a bunch of uh, boost to kick in and there's a lot of lag and all that. It actually comes in really nicely, lower in the RPM range. Very, very um, nicely done shift points. And overall, like I said, the acceleration that you're gonna get in this with the all-wheel drive, you don't have to worry about losing traction or anything like that. I like the instrumentation. I think it's great that they didn't go to a full digital display at least of yet um, and you have enough digital display in the center there to give you the information that you want steering wheel feels great i look around and i like seeing the els studio optional sound system with those speaker covers looking out the back window nice and clear side mirrors work great and this seat is very very supportive hi guys pulling away from the light what's interesting is you're getting a nice sound that is piped into the interior, um, which makes it feel more invigorating, and I don't mind it. I'm, I'm over, uh, you know, people saying, hey, it's fake sound, they shouldn't have it. It's nice to have some sound in the cabin, and, and it's, a, it's a nice balance. It's not too loud. It sounds just about right for this particular setup in this particular vehicle, but steering feedback is great. The steering is nice and tight. It's got a good weight to it. And that's one of my favorite parts about driving uh, pretty much any Acura or Honda product is the weight to the steering, especially if there is the availability of a sport mode or something like that. But back on throttle, changing lanes here. Get You get up and go very quickly. And I feel very confident because I have the all-wheel drive. Don't have to worry about any slipping of the tires, the loss of traction. And I know if you're coming from somewhere up north, that's gonna be also super important um, for those snowy conditions. What I wanna do is I wanna show you the handling dynamics of this RDX. All right guys, driving down this road, very, very smooth. Let's see how she handles on throttle. I'm gonna leave it in automatic mode, on the brakes. Turning is great. Really, really confident in this vehicle i'm telling you look at this really nice i'm telling you this thing is going to surprise you especially having it in sport mode you can hear how it's holding on to the throttle now it dropped it down because it knows i just want to kind of cruise and take it easy but that's what you're getting out of this rdx is a package that you could drive every single day feel good pick the kids up from school 
go to the movies, all that kind of stuff. But then when you want to turn up the wick, you can. All right, guys, like I said, you know, the benefits of this vehicle is that it's so multifaceted, which is really wonderful. Even over the ripped up section, it's nice and smooth. But boy, when the road gets twisty, watch this. This is in an RDX. Here we go. On the brakes, into this left hand bend, back on throttle, decreasing radius, so it's going to tighten up that all wheel drive. Really, really nice. Great feedback to the wheel. The chassis feels very balanced, and there's not a lot of body roll, which is amazing in any SUV, especially in this RDX. Um, and then at the end of the day, you could cruise on the highway, just sit and relax and, and get to your destination. Or if you choose, you could also use the smaller paddles on the back of the steering wheel. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the RDX is all about. Lots of versatility, lots of sporty performance. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and get back to Moss Acura. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys. been another wonderful time here at Moss Acura. I definitely got to thank Carlos, Albert, Ricky, and the rest of the crew. Of course, David Ma, uh, Moss and David Moss Jr. for allowing us access to this 2020 RDX. I'll be honest with you, this is probably one of my favorite SUVs out of any of the brands. And for me personally, it checks off a lot of boxes, especially when it comes to the style, the performance, and the size. But if it's vehicles like these that you want to keep seeing on Radius Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, Click the link in the description, get yourself some Radius Rise merch. Gotta give it up to Big Guns McGee. I remember the day him and I first got into an RDX. He was pleasantly surprised. So I'm glad to share this RDX journey with you, Tom. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.